Hey everybody, it's Travis Gilbert here from Old Baldy Lighthouse, and we're continuing our series on the final months of Steed Bonnet's life. Steed Bonnet, better known as the Gentleman Pirate. Well, today, October 28th, 1718, that is this date, 302 years ago, the trials of Steed Bonnet and his pirate crew began in Charlestown, South Carolina, known today, of course, as Charleston, South Carolina. Now, Steve Bonnet, you know, was captured by Colonel William Rhett in the mouth of the Cape Fear River after a battle on September 27, 1718. And of course, Steed Bonnet being captured by Colonel Rhett and all the other pirates that were captured were taken by Colonel Rhett back down to Charlestown where they would be put on trial. Now presiding over this trial is going to be Judge Nicholas Trott. He was in this Admiralty Court. So Admiralty Courts have their jurisdiction in maritime laws and maritime affairs. Of course, these crimes of piracy, be, piracy being committed on the Cape Fear River and the open seas. Now, on this first day of the trial, 302 years ago from this date, uh, Nicholas Trott, the judge, really kind of sucks up all the oxygen in the room. And a little context of who Nicholas Trott was, like most South Carolinians at this time, he is born and educated in England. He does uh, live and serve uh, in various capacities in Barbados before he arrives in South Carolina. He's appointed as Attorney General for South Carolina by the Lord's Proprietors, and by 1703 he is appointed as Chief Justice. Now, uh, Nicholas Trott is very close with Colonel William Rhett, this uh, military leader from South Carolina who ends up capturing Steed Bonnet. And Colonel Rhett and Judge Trott are kind of known for taking up most of the elected or appointed offices in the administration here in the proprietary rule of South Carolina. And that's going to come ahead a year later after these trials when South Carolinians actually rebel against the proprietary governorship of South Carolina. And a lot of these uh, folks' anger is going to be directed towards Colonel Rhett and Judge Trott. But uh, that's getting a little ahead of ourselves. So what is Judge Trott saying on this first day of the trial? Well, he's giving a charge for the grand jury. And the judge's charge is basically instructions on what the grand jury is going to be looking at. And he defines what piracy is. He reminds us that it's basically robbery committed on the high seas. Judge Strott uh, uh, reflects upon his jurisdiction as a judge of the Vice Admiralty Court. He does have jurisdiction in the King's Waters, the Cape Fear River being part of the King's Waters. And lastly, uh, the first bill of indictment is going to be uh, 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 put forward to this grand jury. And the bill of indictment is given against Steve Bonnet, Robert Tucker, Edward Robinson, Neil Patterson, William Scott, and Job Bailey uh, for taking the sloop Francis and her goods, Peter Mannering uh, Commander. And I know in future videos, McCallie is going to talk a little bit about tomorrow that most of these crimes committed by Steve Bonnet and the piracy occur months before their trial and weeks before the battle in the Cape Fear River. They're going to be tried for committing robberies in July and early August of 1718, well before uh, the battle and, of course, the trial. So, again, my name is Travis. Continue watching these series on our YouTube channel. We'll post them on Instagram TV and on Facebook as well as we continue the next few days summarizing this sensational trial in Charlestown, South Carolina, 302 years ago from these dates. Thanks again, everybody.